the community as a whole was behind TCF and purchasing and then sending Rompspen off packing to Canada. Unfortunately, they've refused to live by their agreement with TCF to sell the, pro at a, the price at appraised value. They want for us to continue to pay more due to their mistakes and thinking they could make millions buying and selling this property. And they stated they're gonna keep coming back, coming back to create strife, divide us up, hitting neighbor against neighbor and keep upping the price until we give in. Uh, quite frankly, we're disgusted and outraged that Ronspen refused a fair market offer on the property from the Conservation Fund. And all of our neighbors feel the same way. We really need your help to resolve this situation. It's clear that the community does not want any change to the general plan, no development. This is not going to change this year, next year, subsequent years. But again, please resolve this issue now. Um, condemnation or the mere threat of condemnation with Romspit, along with possible future involvement with the conservation fund, is really a solid option. Uh, there's probably things going on behind the scenes, which is only conjecture on my part, but I'm sure that had something to do with the fact that this they didn't accept the offer. Romspit's decision to reject that offer and its plan to reapply for a zoning change again next year are blatant attempts to intimidate and harass. These tactics must not succeed. Condemn the property, allow the community pledges at fair market value to be used to reestablish and support the natural beauty of the 208 acres as green space. And everyone knew back on September 25th when those yellow signs went back up around Rancho Vistoso that we were all just continuing to be played and steamrolled by Romspen. You can go right back to their 2015 annual report and it's been very evident with them that it's not just about the money, it's about more money. And even with the Conservation Fund, their outstanding organization, uh, their fair market value, uh, their, their fair market offer, well in the end, the money, uh, just not good enough for Romspen. And this is for a piece of property that represents approximately just two tenths of 1% of Rompspin's portfolio. It's insignificant within their holdings.